I think we're in a period now where brands have to offer a lot more. In history, Loewe was kind of known for being a lifestyle brand. For me, it was just about kind of challenging that and trying to work out how do you take over a 100-year-old brand and take it forward and not look dusty. Ultimately, heritage brands cannot become museums. When I was a child and through every summer, I would go to um, Ibiza. That was my kind of uh, starting point for this brand. I, you know, sort of like men and women on a beach. I had this one image that Stephen Meisel had done in 97 for Italian Vogue, which was based on Alex Katz, and it was a group of um, people on a beach, and I thought, that's what I want the collection to look like. Based around a lot of organics and kind of mishmashing of sweaters that, you know, could look for the winter but are not. You know, uh, that idea of like, if you're on a beach and it gets very cold in the, in the evening. Really good cashmere knits in it, which are based on like fisherman sweaters. And I kind of liked that those pieces were not really in any, they weren't really men's or women's, it was just a really good sweater. I'm quite simple in what I, you know, in what I wear, even though I design every day. I, I kind of do love something which is as classically driven as that with a pair of jeans. I think anyone can look good in it. I mean, it's something universal, which I kind of love. I, I see myself as more of a conceptually led designer. But for this, it was kind of made sense to kind of go, what would I actually really want to wear all the time? The Wave is historically has made leather goods for nearly 200 years. I wanted to try to use um, leather development and leather craft to try to get new shapes, new types of propositions of bags. So we've got, you know, there's the flamenco and then there's the puzzle. So this is, this is my favorite bag. Um, it's called the puzzle because it, it, it was a puzzle to make. Um, it's, um, you know, it's a, technically a hobo to be kind of worn like here, but, you know, it can be worn across on the side, which I really like. I was kind of over this idea of a, a rigid, heavy structure, and the puzzle was kind of like trying to find solutions within that, something that could be completely flat, but at the same time, you know, hold a lot of volume. Obviously, Lueve is known for its bags. And um, using things that are relevant today and have a function, you know, like we, we no longer travel by ships, so trunks are less necessary than we need, so bags need to have a, uh, a functional aspect to them.